Uh, we believe that storage should be a utility. It should be ubiquitous like water and power. And we believe that we can do that by really using commodity networking, commodity hardware, and really making storage as unobtrusive as possible. you go down to the electronics store, you can buy a terabyte drive for $100, but you call your storage vendor and they want to charge you five dollars to $10,000 for every terabyte. So there's a huge disconnect and there's a huge pent-up frustration that I saw. I was a vice president of one of those you know, companies. I saw that you know, with the customers. They, they just they want to do more with the IT and they can't afford to because storage is soaking up the whole budget. The Marine Corps uh, rolled out virtualization across uh, you know, many of their global facilities. Uh, they were able to save over $30 million uh, in cost between servers and power and space. Unfortunately, because of the high cost of storage today, out of that $30 million, they had to turn around and give back $17 million in cost overruns uh, for storage. So what we've done is we've introduced a technology that can provide all the performance and power that these new virtualization environments uh, need but we can do it in a way that is much more cost effective so that we leave more of those dollars in the pockets of the customers. We've invented a new way of building storage networks for enterprise and government customers uh, that has revolutionized the way that people can store data. We can actually give you about five to ten times more performance for every dollar uh, and we're really redefining storage economics. Uh, we actually use uh, off-the-shelf technologies like Ethernet and off-the-shelf uh, storage servers uh, to really uh, now deliver a huge amount of value to customers and we're seeing a huge uptake. We've now uh, reached over 1,100 customers and major trends like virtualization and cloud computing are a perfect fit with, with the way that we've done it because we remove so much complexity from the way that legacy storage networks were always built. We have uh, people that are using this in virtualization environments. We have people using it in video surveillance and network surveillance. We have it uh, being used in genome research. The uh, National Institutes of Health is running the entire U.S. genome project, the Human Genome Project, uh, on co-rate storage. So we have a wide variety of customers, but typically what we see is that people will uh, start with a, a small amount of storage because we're a new vendor to them, and they'll see that the performance and the pricing and the simplicity are so far beyond what they've done before that we very quickly are able to expand our presence in those customers.